Hi guys, today we will be solving minimum swaps and k together. So we are given an array of n positive num in numbers and another number k. One can apply swap operation on array any number of times. Choose any two indexes i and j such that i is less than j and swap array of i and array of j. Find the minimum number of swaps required to bring all the numbers less than or equal to k together make the as in make them a continuous array let's try to understand it with example 1 so we are given an array it has 2 1 5 6 3 so what we could do is we could swap 5 and 3 that is one swap and we will be able to successfully make our array uh, sub array which has all the elements less than or equal to k together Let's try and understand how to solve this question. So whenever there is a survey question, we should try and think that if we can apply the sliding window approach in that. So what we'll be doing is we'll try to use the sliding window approach to solve this question. What we'll be doing, the first step would be to find the number of elements to find the number of elements which are favorable or which satisfy the condition so in this case k is 6 and the array is given we have to find the number of elements that are favorable to the condition that they are less than or equal to 6 2 is less than or equal to 6 so five is less than or equal to 6 four is less than or equal to 6 so the count is 3 In the next step, we will try to iterate through the window once. So what we will be doing is, we will start from 0th element and we will go up till favorable count that is 3. So we so will have to go from 0 till 3 as in 2 and we will keep a count of non-favorable elements here. So from here, the left pointer and the right pointer, from left pointer all the way up till the right pointer. So 2 is favorable, we will not include that. 7 is not favorable, we will include that. 9 is not favorable, we will include that. So the count is 2. In step 3, We will traverse the rest of the array to find out if there is any. Uh, we'll traverse the entire array to find out other non favorable elements, and each time we traverse, each time we slide the window, we'll be also trying to find the minimum number of swaps. So, if there are two elements which are not favorable, we'll have to swap two elements, right? So, such that in, in such a way that we'll be, we'll be able to find out the num number of minimum swaps so we'll traverse through the entire array once and do that let's try to do it and as soon as we traverse the array we see a new element that is favorable we increase the favorable count and we see the previous element not being a favorable element we'll reduce the count so we'll move forward right goes here this is a favorable element so we'll not do anything this is a non-favorable element so we will increase the non-favorable count we'll go forward this is a non-favorable element so we will increment the non uh, non-favorable count and we'll increment the left counter as well this is non-favorable as well so we'll increment that and then each time we are incrementing we will be also taking the we'll be also taking the minimum number of swaps required so initially it was 
favorable count and minimum number of swaps minimum of these two so as we go forward if we see an element new element that is being added is non favorable we increase the favorable count and the previous element being left behind if it is non favorable we reduce the count of non favorable count and each time we pass through the loop we increment and decrement as we see let's try to see the code so this is the code we keep a counter favorable counter it starts from 0 and we try to find out all the elements that are favorable and if they are favorable we increment the count then we keep another variable which is of the non favorable count it starts from 0 it goes all the way up till favorable elements the count of favorable elements that is the first initial part of the sliding window approach so we see how many non favorable elements are there and that will be our initial non favorable count we keep two pointers now right pointer which is the last last element of the of count minus 1 left pointer will start from 0 the number of swaps initially it will be non favorable and then later on once we are traversing the array we will be updating it so we go from the right pointer will go from count minus 1 all the way up till n so we'll try to minimize the number of swaps so initially we'll be taking swaps is equal to minimum of swaps or non favorable elements so as as soon as we move to the next element as soon as we move the right right pointer if it is non favorable we increment it if the previous element that is being left behind was non favorable we reduce its count because it's being left behind and we move the left pointer ahead so once this entire loop has run through we'll get the minimum number of swaps so the complexity in this case will be big o of n because we are traversing the array exactly once and the space complexity will be big o of 1 because we are using constant space that is just two or three pointers and if you like the video do share and subscribe